Hello, uh, my name is Adam Forney and I'm a researcher at Microsoft Research and um, I'll be demoing today VERSE, uh, which is short for Voice Exploration, Retrieval, and Search. And it's joint work with um, Alexandra Vitriana, um, Meredith Ringel Morris, Leah Finlater, and Ryan White. And the idea of this demo is really, really simple. It's that we want to take a virtual assistant like Cortana or Alexa and add to it some capabilities that are typically available in screen readers, which are accessibility tools that blind individuals use to access online content. Now, the motivation for this project is also fairly straightforward. We conducted a large uh, series of um, surveys and interviews of people who are uh, screen reader users, people who are visually impaired, and we asked them, how are you accessing online content on a day-to-day -day basis? And of course, they're using web browsers and screen readers, but increasingly, they're also telling us that they're making extensive use of virtual assistants. Virtual assistants actually have a number of advantages for this community. Um, they primarily conduct all the interaction through the audio channel. Everybody experiences them the same way, so they tend to be accessible almost by accident. But they also have a number of disadvantages for this community who are expert users of audio interfaces. Um, virtual assistants, they speak much slower than a screen reader, and they, are, they tend to be much more shallow. Um, they might give you the first search result or they might read you the first paragraph of a Wikipedia article, but that's really um, just scratching the surface of what uh, expert audio uh, interface users uh, can achieve with such systems. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll give you a brief demo of our, of our system uh, verse. Um, I'm going to use the microphone on this headset in order to provide input, but you can imagine that this experience would work on a uh, smart speaker as well. So to begin the interaction, um, I will just uh, speak a query similar to what I might ask uh, Alexa or Cortana. So I might say, um, what is Microsoft Research? Microsoft Research is the research subsidiary of Microsoft. It was formed in 1991. Now, that's a fairly low rate of speech, but the answer is uh, comparable to what you would get from a, um, a smart speaker. Uh, I'd like the agent to speak a little faster, so I can say, speak faster. OK, I increased my speech rate. My speech rate now is 1.5. All right, so now I can ask that question again. I could say, what is Microsoft Research? Microsoft Research is the research subsidiary of Microsoft. I also found one entity, 10 web pages, 8 related search queries, 10 videos, 10 Wikipedia articles. All right, so at this point, uh, we've got our fairly straightforward answer, uh, but we also have clues to what other content is out there online. So uh, in this case, I can see that there are uh, uh, at least uh, 8 related searches or, or uh, 10 web pages, so I could say, go to web results. I found 10 web pages. The first one is Microsoft Research, Emerging Technology, Computer, and Explore Research at Microsoft, a site featuring the impact of research along with publications, products, downloads, and research careers. From www.microsoft.com. All right, so, uh, so that's the first search result. I can go to the next one. I can say, next. Page two, Microsoft Research, Wikipedia. Now, doing this all through voice can actually um, uh, is possible, but it can be fairly tedious. So we've added additional accelerators. So for example, I can use my smartwatch or my smartphone in order to provide a shortcut. So in this case, just scrolling the, the wheel on my watch, I should be able to page three. scroll through the results. Page four, Microsoft, re page five, page four. And I can page do the three. same thing on my phone. Microsoft, re page two. And I can Microsoft engage research. into that uh, article with more Microsoft um, Research more is a research subsidiary of Microsoft. So I can say, Open that article, read section headings. Introduction, section one, key people. Section two, research areas, section three. And I can uh, go to a particular section. Section four. Go to research areas. Okay, here's the section number two, titled research areas. Microsoft Research is categorized into the following broad areas, algorithm. So just to summarize, we're able to uh, engage with different search verticals. We can engage with content, and we can um, navigate some, using some of the same techniques you would use to uh, navigate if you're using a screen reader. So you can navigate by uh, section or by, by headings in this case, but also paragraphs. by paragraphs or by sentences or words. Uh, and I can uh, issue voice commands, or I can issue gestures on my phone or on my watch that are that are identical to those that uh, uh, an individual using a screen reader would use on their on their phone. 